Number 5. Old Whiskers was a feisty goat that was adored by Benjamin Harrison's grandchildren. The grandchildren would ride in a cart carried along by Old Whiskers. One time, the goat went running down the street with the grandchildren in the cart. The president was outside waiting for his own carriage when he spotted the goat and chased him down the street. Old Whiskers stopped and was caught, but not before many people witnessed their president frantically chasing after the animal. Number 4. Fido was Abraham Lincoln's yellow mongrel dog. He was known for being very loyal, as he would often follow Lincoln around town. Fido wouldn't actually live in the White House. After Lincoln won the election, he would be visited by many guests, and the couple could tell Fido didn't like the commotion. So they decided to adopt him out to one of Lincoln's oldest friends, giving him instructions to make sure Fido was treated well. Fido would ultimately outlive Abraham Lincoln, and was even taken to his old owner's funeral. However, like his master, Fido would also meet a violent end. While walking the streets, Fido attempted to put his paws on a drunken man, but in a rage, the man stabbed him. Fido ran off. He wasn't found until a month later. His body was under a barn, and he had apparently died from the stab wound. Also, like his former owner, however, he would have a legacy, as Fido would become a popular dog name in the following decades. Number 3. Calvin Coolidge was known for his exotic pets, which included a wallaby, a raccoon, and a black bear, among many more. As such, businessman Harvey Samuel Firestone gifted Coolidge with a pygmy hippopotamus, which he captured in Liberia. The hippo, named Billy, was exceptionally exotic as pygmy hippos were practically unheard of in the United States. Like many of Coolidge's other pets, Billy was eventually donated to the National Zoo, where he became an incredibly popular attraction. He also became a prominent stud and is the ancestor to the majority of pygmy hippos residing in American zoos. Number 2. Pete was among the most troublesome pets to ever inhabit the White House. Believed to be a bull terrier, Pete was very aggressive. On numerous occasions, he attacked guests, and numerous times he tore off their pants. There was also a dog that frequently wandered onto White House property, and Pete would attack the dog violently, even giving it life-threatening injuries. After all this behavior, Roosevelt considered euthanizing Pete, but ultimately decided against it due to the pleading of his children. Pete was, however, moved to Roosevelt's estate rather than the White House, where he lived out the rest of his days. Number 1. Polly was the parrot of Andrew Jackson. Like her master, she had the habit of being vulgar and was known to swear. It's unclear where exactly she learned this, but considering Jackson's harsh demeanor and temperamental nature, he was likely her teacher. On June 10, 1845, Andrew Jackson's funeral was held. Polly attended, though she had to be removed as she made many attendees uncomfortable with her use of profanities. As the presiding reverend said, quote, Before the sermon, and while the crowd was gathering, a wicked parrot that was a household pet got excited and commenced swearing so loud and long as to disturb the people and had to be carried from the house. To support regular uploads from this channel, consider subscribing and donating to Resyndicated on Patreon. Donations from $1 to $15 a month help towards more frequent uploads. Patreon link in the description below.